Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man. This is a crazy situation right here, man. First of all, RIP to this brother right here. His name is Bloodhound Lil Jeff. He got caught up in the street life, man. Chicago street life. Chicago go Chicago. You know, first of all. So however they go down, they go down up there, man. That's up there. That's their situation. It's a crazy, nasty situation. I've been hearing a lot about Chicago for the past couple of years, man. They've been getting down. They've been getting busy with the drills. And it's, it's, it's crazy, man. Y'all seen that documentary that came out last year about King Vine? Like, yo, I don't know if it's true or not, but yo, it, it shed a lot of light on it, man. And me being an older person looking back at it and looking, looking at what's going on in the world and looking at Chicago versus how it used to be back in the days when, when New Orleans was the murder capital of the world, Baltimore, um, New York. You hear about the West Coast niggas in L.A. Shit, I was raised in Detroit. A little bit, you know, so I know some some shit. So, but, but, but Chicago, I don't see why ain't no martial law came and shut that shit down, man. Ooh, you know, look at me, I'm a punk. I'm gonna hit my hand on the microphone. Ooh, but you know what I'm saying? It's so grimy up there, man. It's crazy. And I seen this man about Lil Jeff, man. I seen the video of him talking about, yo, just check this out, man. Listen for yourself. This I went black for like a week and poof. You Gotta go after that one. Poof. I came back, poof. I don't hear them niggas though. I'm taking niggas to killing school. Class start next week. You gotta at least have like, you gotta at least have two bodies though, for I ain't coming with no, you ain't got shit, I can't work with no beginners, folks. <laughs> you gotta at least have a, you gotta at least have a two. I'ma give y'all two minimum, a two. I'ma start at two minimum, cause. Yeah, I know why I'ma start at I'm two minimum. Now nah, I'm just doing it for for a tradition. I'ma I'm start at I'm two minimum, man. Fast. Two, you gotta have a minimum of two. No, anything you gotta have two. <laughs> you gotta have a, you gotta have a minimum of two of them bitches to come to school. You just gonna sit your dumb ass in this seat and whatever I say, do it. If you do anything scary, bitch, I'm smoking your ass. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Frightening. That is scary to me. Y'all heard that shit, man. He said, look, you gotta have two. And if you don't get down, you go, man, like yo. They recruit, man, they doing numbers, man. They doing numbers. And they allowed to do numbers like that, man. And it's crazy because they mom and daddy, his mom and daddy condone that shit. This dude used he um recently just passed away a couple days ago, man. This little Jeff dude. R.I.P. to him. But his mama and daddy ain't shit. Look at them. This is some post. It's from his daddy. And let it be known. Y'all didn't get him. He came trying to get y'all. And what happened happened. But the saga continues. Clear the streets. Come on, man. That's the motherfucking daddy who raised these niggas, man. That's the lifestyle they gotta live. So that like that's the daddy saying that, man. Look what the mama said. This is an, um, an alleged exchange. Because I don't know if these tweets and texts are true, but this is going around. So if it's going around the internet, I'm going to put it on here too like everybody else did. Then if it come out and it ain't true, I'm going to be like, eh. You know what I mean? But let's, this is from the mama. Look at this. He said, go ahead, son. Your name ringing bells in the streets. I said, I mean, yeah, I said, is that my boy? It definitely is. He like this is between them. I love it. Sliding on them niggas who slept in the bed with you. That's wild, man. Matter of, that's like it's like she condoning him going out here in these streets getting busy on some niggas who was raised with him. Did sleepovers. Nintendo all night. Well, these niggas old, so them niggas. I mean them niggas young, so they probably playing PlayStation 4, 5, shit like that. I'm I'm old nigga who's still playing Sonic. Um, but this shit crazy, man. That's the mama and daddy. Chicago, man. Y'all need, man. Pray for Chicago, man. I usually don't get into shit like this, man. Talk about it. But, man, looking back on it, man, just looking at it from a distance, like, God damn. Every weekend, man, there's some numbers out there. They, man, they in a small radius, man, between these, these, these project buildings they live in, the blocks. I don't want to call no names out of nothing because I don't know nobody about nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing. I just know niggas be getting murked out there. And they out I mean, this dude said, you got to come with two bodies. Like, is that many people getting murked that you can be like, hey, I got two bodies. I can come. Me too. Like, 
I ain't never had no friends that had no bodies. Never had a body, but like, you know, you might have had a body before, but bodies, like you got plural bodies to hang with you, to be your friend, to be your crew. You got to come in with two bodies. I'm staying in the fucking house, man. It's going to be hot this summer too. I don't know what's going on with the damn polar caps has been melting. The ozone layer if it's really an ozone layer out there because I don't believe in the ozone layer. But you know what I mean? Something that's making the world hot like this is, it's hot as hell. So it's going to be, man, when it get hot, niggas come out and start murking each other, man. And this one to be hot, man. Chicago is, it ain't Chicago, it's Chicago gone. They gone, man. I, and I want martial law to happen so bad because it's like, I'm like, as a grown up man sitting back looking at this shit, it's like, damn. How you get 27 people shot every weekend or some shit like that on Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, any holiday, any event coming up, man? The niggas gonna be outside. It's gonna be bodies. And they letting this shit just go down. That shit crazy to me, man. Mm -hmm. Pray for Chicago, man. They call that shit Sh Chirac. Chirac for a reason. Sh Afghanistan. We can call that shit motherfucking. Them niggas gonna have space guns. I don't know how many guns they get and get to have. I ain't get to accumulate that many guns growing up. A couple of my niggas, we had some well, some rifles and shit like that. We from the country too. I was living in North Carolina. Niggas had a few little rifles and shit. Them young niggas started coming up. Everybody had a damn something with a thing hanging off the bottom of it. Like, God damn, what is that? A circle on the bottom of your gun, nigga? What is that? I don't want to be in these streets, man. Niggas got circle guns. Man. So, man, like I said, man, getting back to the story of this little Jeff dude, man. Um, I went black for like a week. Video of him, young dude, man. I don't even know how old he was. He must have been a rapper or about to be a rapper. But he, they claim he got 10 bodies on him. R.I.P. man, Bloodhound Lil Jeff. I don't know him, man, but goddamn, young man, that shit. I don't even know how old the nigga was. How old was this nigga, man? I ain't got the research. I ain't did no research. I don't do no research, man. I just hear the story and go with it like everybody else, man. I just wanna um try to spread awareness. I guess or something, man. Y'all stay dangerous, niggas out <laughs> here, yeah, man. Cause this one to be a hot summer. Um, R.I.P. to him again. I think they didn't got the dude in custody who did it, man already like and that's another thing man they online doing this shit too man they online talking about look i'm finna get you i'm gonna get you then you wind up somebody getting murked they be like who did it hey we ain't gotta really investigate we go online look pick up they shit they be like uh yeah guess what um he did it this ain't a bomb it's my colorful thing i turn my colors and shit hold on pew pew oh, yeah, i should have did red Anyway, man, I go live at the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about shit just like this. You just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live on Friday nights, man. Put it in the comic section and tell me what's up or all that good shit. But anyway, man, fuck with your boy. Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news in a piece. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.